Yes. And so I'm curious about that first fight, both from Sylvie's perspective, was she just excited? How, how were her nerves? Were there fears? But also from your perspective, you're a husband, you're a boyfriend at the time, I don't know. Like how, were you guys never affected by any kind of fear? Were you just adventure and yay? Or never. did you have any kind of, never? That's never. amazing. It was, it is weird that you ask this. It, it actually, our first fight was in the United States. Sylvie had been training with Master K. It was like a 72, three-year-old Thai man who was old fashioned and traditional. So she never was in a class of Muay Thai. She just trained with him individually. So he never sparred with her and he never clinched with her. So she had all this kind of pad work and like knowledge, but she had no sparring knowledge. And we finally like went to New York City and had her spar like twice before this fight, which was down in West Virginia in an amateur uh, tournament, the WKAs. But honest to God, thinking back to that driving down, and I was just thinking about it today because Michael Jackson died on our way down. It was very memorable. Mm -hmm. And it was like, um, it is, my memory of it is exactly like all our fights. Like nothing has changed at all. The feeling is, is like, um, she's underprepared on, on one level because she's trying to reach for a certain excellence, mm -hmm. even in her first fight, even in her last fight, which was her 267th fight more than any Westerner ever in Thailand, like by a, a multiple multitude, she still is reaching and has the same emotional motivations that she had in their very first fight, that in that fight, she is going to be reaching for something in her soul, in her heart that she's trained for. And there is, there is this weird thing that I just have a faith in her. She's a very stubborn, tough person. And so if her skills can't protect her, if something happens, she has a reserve that is very deep in her that will preserve her. And uh, it's exactly what I felt in that first fight. And I feel it every single fight. It is unreal that nothing has changed after all these years and all these fights. And she's taken a lot of physical uh, pain and damage. She has had over 200 stitches to her face, which is incredible. Uh, broken bones multiple times, like, but it's a belief I have in her resilience as a person that the things that can wound her are not physical. They do not feel physical. So I don't have that fear of, of, of her being damaged in a weird way. It's more of like, I hope she performs to her expectation close enough that she doesn't come out of the ring emotionally wounded or psychologically weighed down. And I think most of our struggles is more, you say mental, it's very much in the mental world of dealing with expectations and desires and then performance. Like the beautiful thing about fighting is you're put, you're an artist put in, in a situation that not only is the canvas you're painting on is fear, your own fear, yeah. all of the like things that a human animal gets triggered, that's your canvas. And then you have a will who is trying to embarrass you or shame you opposite you. And that's your art. Like what artist does that? It's so incredible. And so that's really every single fight. That's the battle right there, even to this day.